We had a wonderful evening in which an imam from London shared his perspective on uh, well, actually trying to explain a new narrative on Islam and trying to delink the Islam from extremism and terrorism. I think he had a very powerful uh, talk uh, about that and that there were two mothers who lost their sons who joined uh, ISIS and they explained how that Im impacted upon their lives and also how they are now trying to empower other families uh, to deal with such uh, suffering. What you have done tonight is amazing. 500 people are in this room. You will all leave this room with a different impression, if not already that impression, confirm that impression of Islam and society and Muslims. So that's one. Continuous dialogue with our friends and our families. Secondly, we must build stronger and more powerful relationships with one another. And this is what I say to many of my Muslim friends. When was the last time you invited your non-Muslim neighbor to your house? A man came to ask the, the Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, for permission to go to jihad. And he asks him, is your parents alive? And then he says, yes, then your jihad is with your parents. Jihad is to strive. Jihad is to create a better yourself, to do something for your community, to help others, to ease burden for others. Jihad is not holy war. I created this because there was nothing for me, for somebody to not judge me or have, you know, to give me that voice. And so I created Families for Life um, to, in order to empower other families and to give, make sure that they feel safe and they don't feel that loneliness that I felt. Um, and I hope I can empower families in order to kind of make the f change for the future, really. So, yeah.